Hey, how's it going? Mike here, The Fresh Rinse at the Ready Wash Laboratory. I've got my brand new cheap shot, my personal cheap shot, the one that I made for myself. I've got it all set up now and uh, ready to test it. And I wanted to take just a moment, show you a few things that I've done to modify and get this the way that I want it. Of course, it's exactly as you would get it when you place an order with a few exceptions. For instance, I'm not running the transfer station. I don't transfer my chemical this way, so um, no need for the transfer station. So I've just got it looped here without any kind of restriction whatsoever. I also have a bypass, or should I say it's not a bypass, it is a pressure relief valve set up, and I'll explain that here in just a moment. I also have my soap line, my surfactant line, ran to neutralizer. I have a three-way ball valve uh, in route, and when that arrives, then I will uh, run a, a quarter-inch line also to soap or surfactant. But I've got it running to neutralizer because as immediately after washing and turning off the SH, all I have to do is turn on the neutralizer literally for five seconds, just enough to run neutralizer into the pump, neutralizing the pump. And I'm gonna show you the neutralizer here in just a moment. I took a course on this this past week in, uh, in Chicago, and I'll show you what I've got with that. We're also gonna kinda do a distance test here in just a moment, not kinda, that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, I'm really excited about what has been produced here. I'm running the Ready Wash Systems um, metering valves, clear manifold, and uh, yeah, it's, it's like tip top shape. This is the same motor that I've been running in the prototype, so it's got many hours on it, still runs flawlessly, and I did change the oil earlier today. That was, uh, that was a good thing because it was terribly black. So let's talk about this, what some would call a bypass. It's not a bypass. It does not bypass water back into the tank. What it does is it acts as a pressure relief valve setup. That's what this is. So this Banjo pressure relief valve right here has been set to when this gets, when the pump gets under pressure, while off the trigger, it will then disperse whatever fluids are th running through the system through this loop and then back up into the sy system. So it doesn't bypass, it just releases pressure. So also as a side note, I was reading where someone was saying that theirs built up too much pressure, their Harbor Freight pump built up too much pressure and it popped this cap right here. And so they went out and got a stainless cap and just really tightened it down. Well, that's, you've, you've kind of lost the, the whole aspect of this, of this cap. Now, obviously it should never get under pressure, but when it does, this cap will pop and that's what you want. You'd, re you'd much rather this cap to pop off than for the, um, for the pump to crack or to pop. So that's the idea behind this pressure relief valve. And the reason I have it here at the bottom instead of at the top, as I've seen some do, is because this is where you prime the pump. And in order to then prime the pump, you're gonna have to re remove the pressure relief valve. Uh, some have you know, created uh, some sort of a system and that's great, but putting it at the bottom uh, allows you simply to unscrew the cap here, prime the pump if necessary. But once you've ran the pump, you really never need to prime it again unless you were to remove all the chemical or solution or uh, water from the pump. So yeah, so I, I the way that I set this up, and I, I think that this is correct, while off the trigger and with no hose, I simply turned the dial here until water began to come out and then I tightened it back up a quarter of a turn just enough to stop the water so in theory what will happen is when the pump reaches max pressure then it will disperse 
whatever solution, whatever fluids are in the pump through this hose and then back up into the system. So it's a closed loop system, so it's not bypassing. Just keep that in mind. And uh, there's, there's only one way of testing this, and this is to fill it full of fluid and then go to lunch and see if it explodes. I'm not risk adverse enough to do that, so, so we're just going to uh, talk a little louder because of the train. So let's do this. Let's start the machine, and then let's do a distance test with just a little bit of wind behind us, but I think we'll be all right. Okay, so standing on this line, Now you can see we got we got some wind. Not sure exactly how accurate this is going to be. Okay, I don't think we got as much as we got the last time. The last time we did a test, we got 60 feet just a little over okay we are at okay we're at zero here okay so I'm going to say it's closer to 50 feet because we do have some wind against us and that's not ideal so we'll go to the end and we have 52 feet, so I was right on it. Still not disappointed, uh, but the wind is, is not helping. All right, let me show you this neutralizer. And this is from Neutropods. Neutropods, I took a, a workshop this weekend at the Wash and Learn conference there in Chicago and so basically I have a five gallon uh, soap tank in my truck and I put about a half a scoop into the five gallon and that's more than enough this stuff is amazing now these Nutripods check this out I'll put a link in the description these pods here you just simply puncture it with your thumb and then put these in the gutter at the downspout on each side of the house or wherever the downspout is, but just, just inside, just outside rather, the downspout inside the gutter. And when the water runs off of the roof, it then is, or excuse me, the solution, the bleach, it is immediately neutralized. So very, very cool. Um, the nice gentleman who developed this was there at the Wash and Learn conference. And man, it was a fantastic conference. I want to highly encourage you guys next year, if they, if they have it, this was the first time doing it. It was a 10 out of a 10. Very impressive. So yeah, uh, very encouraged about that. And so having that three-way ball valve when it comes in, I will, uh, I'll mount that and then I can have soap and I can have neutralizer. There's my neutralizer tank right there. So uh, minus kind of dressing up some of the hoses, obviously this is good to go and I'm very impressed with it. So as I said before, I got 60 feet the last time, 50 feet, 52 feet this time, but with a little bit of wind. So, all right, there you have it. Uh, appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell tab. You'll never miss another video. My name's Mike. They call me the fresh. <coughs> My name's Mike. They call me the fresh rinse. See you at the top. Don't be late.